Are we live? <laughs> Can anybody hear us? Is it? Uh, we're laughing because we've got no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Are we live? If anyone can hear us, please leave a comment and say you can hear us. Oh my god! Let us know. And as soon as as soon as someone, yay, Rossi Bink is saying yes. Can you, <laughs> you can hear us clearly. Obviously, if you can't hear us clearly, then just say so. Oh, okay. Let us know. As soon as, oh as no! Soon as someone, <laughs> yay! Hold on. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Cool. Turn that off. Okay, so sorry about that. We are complete, <laughs> complete, complete beginners at um, YouTube lives. We've done hardly any of them. We've attempted it so many times, but we've succeeded. I think this will be the second time. If this goes well, this is our second time successful. Yeah. One. Anyway, that what to one side. Where's the camera on this? Is it there? Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope everyone is doing good. <laughs> uh, first thing I want to say before anything else is thank you to Neil and Emma from Urban Van Life for moderating. It's really, really Thanks, kind guys. of you um, for doing that. Um, uh, there's a lot of comments already, so thank you so much, guys. It's nice to see you, um, and always a pleasure. Um, so, uh, obviously, we're Liam and Janine. Um, if you follow the channel, you know who we are. Um, I'm the gobby one. Um, I do a lot of the talking, and the reason behind that is... So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we I just proved it. To just proved it. Like, Janine's short-term memory is terrible, <laughs> and she admits that as well. Yeah, it is pretty bad. She's yeah. the creative behind everything that we're doing and um <laughs> she's the genius behind it all so i'm the one that can remember or try to remember a little bit more and that's why i do a lot of the talking and stuff um so uh we the reason why we're doing this live is because we've got a very sort of important and exciting announcement um and some news to share with you uh so much so that we've it's sort of forced us to do this live um and uh, we've got like um sort of reasoning behind that that we need the story to tell you about our last 24 hours <laughs> But uh, firstly, how is everybody? Um, we are in the back of Morgan right now. Um, and today we went out for a walk and we felt warmth today. And so much so I've got a vest on underneath here. And it was sunny, wasn't it? It, it was, was so nice for about an hour. So as British people, <laughs> we talk about the weather before we get on. General chit chat about the weather before we get on. But it was such, it was so hopeful. It's the first bit of warm mm. weather we felt since being back. And uh, we're sat here without the diesel heater on and the windows open. However, it's really grey outside and Janine wishes the diesel heater was on. <laughs> and um, it's Janine's been rummaging around looking for a hot water bottle yeah. as well. Uh, but I quite like the fresh air and we sort of, as a couple who one's hot, one's cold, one's hot, we have to sort mm. of make a, make some sort of compromise between it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, plenty, of, um, plenty of stuff going on. Uh, and yeah, so the first thing I wanted to do before we tell you our news is uh, not up here in Liverpool, Neil, saying, yeah, like we went up north recently or further up north recently and it was considerably a lot colder mm. than it we're in the Midlands at the moment. Um, and yeah, as people are saying, um, it has been raining today. Um, but our we've had the inverter on today in the van and charging the laptop and stuff and it's remained at like 99%. So there must be some sun from somewhere or it's just higher in the sky because of the time of year. Anyway, weather to one side. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, really, really appreciate it. There's a thousand, over a thousand people watching, which is incredible. Um, and uh, what was going to say? Thank you for following us. For a start, because this is the first live we've done in probably years, just want to say thank you so much for following our van life journeys. Thank you so much for following our trek across Spain and um, northern, uh, northern France and Spain. Southern France and Northern Spain. Northern Spain and Southern France. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, and of course for following us to India as well. Um, we do the things that we we want we we want to do inside our heart, and we take big risks doing them. We have no idea how they're going to turn out. Um, we just do them. We just start them and just see what happens and see how it all unfolds. And we try and turn into sort of yes people, as you've seen. Um, so we've got no idea how they're going to turn out, mm -hmm. and they all there's always a quirky ending or middle bit and you know with morgan as well and all of that and anyway through the whole thing you've been very very supportive um and kind and you've clearly enjoyed it as well and it's meant the world to us um so thank you so much for that we wanted to say that live before anything else um because it really really means the world all your comments and of course the people who support the channel the members of the channel as well really really means the world so thank you before we move on with our news and our mental 24 hours. Um, what next do I have on here? Okay, so um, 
I'm just going to crack on and tell you about what's happened recently. And this is the reason why we're doing the live and there's been a bit of a change of events. So our sort of last 24 hours has been hellish in all honesty. It's been hell. Um, but hopefully we can we can get some sort of happy ending from it. Um, last week, as you know, we announced the selling of our beautiful uh, off-grid camper van that we've been living in full time on and off for the last two years. And um, it was very, very well received. Everyone was very understanding of that. Um, we uh, Everyone knows the reasons for us doing it. Uh, we spent a lot of money getting Morgan, the name of our camper van. Um, is this a good time to show some pi pictures? Yeah. Uh, right. If some... Let's just try this out. This is what our camper van looks like. Hey! <laughs> um, and this is what we've been living in for the last uh, two and years, two years on and off. Um, but it costs us a lot of money to get him to the stage where he's at at the moment. And uh, he's looking really, really good. This is the inside of him as sort of taken just a couple of few days ago. And this is the other side of him. And yeah. Um, but... I said we're sort of out of pocket and everything's changed. You've seen the videos. If you haven't, the, the videos before this. Um, where's the comments gone? Let me see. Are they at the top? Yeah. And yeah, things have changed for us. And we're going to be moving on to different things. Um, and that will all be revealed. Um, but so, yeah, we announced that we're going to be selling him. We gave him a week for people to contact us and let him know that any, if anyone's interested privately. Had loads of interest from people, lots of conversations. Nothing really sort of went anywhere, sort of, uh, uh, because I think people want to see things on paper um, rather than just talking about it and stuff. So we put him on eBay. We put Morgan on eBay. We listed them on eBay. Janine and I have never sold a vehicle on eBay um, before, so we're, we're amateurs at best at this sort of thing. And so, but we gave it a go, trusting the eBay platform. And that was 24 hours ago, literally 24 hours ago. We listed, we did, we launched our van tour video. Everybody does. A, if you think, what's this weird van tour video that's come about? It's um, it, when you, when people get that, get, have vans built and you get a new van and you move into your van, they do these van tour videos once they've decorated and stuff. We never did one. And it was only when we looked back over all of our videos that we saw that uh, we've never done a van tour video. And uh, we haven't even, sh we didn't actually fully ever show the back of the van properly. No. And, now, and it made us understand, we only realized this recently, it made us understand why people do van tour videos. So the bonus was that we managed to finally do a van tour video. And also it showed some interest towards, um, show that, that is now listed on eBay. Um, so listen on eBay and it's been, because of the eBay listing, it's been a flipping nightmare, <laughs> like an absolute nightmare. So basically what happened was, um, we listed them on eBay when the Van Tour video went out, literally at the same time, for a very sort of <laughs> modest starting price uh, on there. And it got a lot of interest, lots of genuine people. We got very genuine bidders going in there, um, showing uh, genuine interest for for our camper van. And me messages, reasonable messages, comment, you know, finding out about different things about Morgan. Um, and then everything was going well. So we put our phones to one side and we went on a long walk is what do we try and do every single day just for mental health and well-being and stuff and then sort of i got pings on my phone when i put the airplane mode back off and it was people you guys thank thankfully have said um have you seen your auction have you seen what's happened and uh they said the, the current bid is something like eighty-five thousand pounds considering it's been up for like two hours and initially I thought this is, I mean, we just, you, do, you hear something like that, you don't know what to think. A bit of investigation and um, seeing the bids and the bidding activity, we had been attacked by trolls, unfortunately. And it happens um, when you're on YouTube and you're doing anything on YouTube. It's unfortunately comes with the territory. And uh, yeah, trolls had gone onto our eBay account and they had sabotaged the whole thing. So all of those genuine bids and genuine interest, they have completely mm -hmm. sabotaged, which is a real big shame. Um, I admittedly was up till quite late last night trying to sort it all out, trying to block the bidders. Uh, I, I mean, I couldn't believe, I don't know anything about eBay really, but I couldn't believe that eBay allowed um, these people, trolls to go up. We know that YouTube gets trolls and stuff, but you can actually get trolls on eBay as well. I thought they'd be really tight on it. And apparently they're sort of not as tight as you'd want them to be. 
So the, talking to eBay, managing it ourselves, I had to go to bed at a certain point. Woke, I managed to get the bids right back down again, woke up the next day, and there was a second round of new trolls on a planned attack uh, to tr sabotage it. This is just in, within the first, you know, like 16 hours maybe of it going live. And we're thinking this, this, this auction was on for 10 days. So it was a nightmare. This is this has been the last sort of 24 hours of our lives. And then sorry to shut the window. It's getting quite windy now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then um unfortunately it was it uh, coincided with not one but two family members going to hospital for very, very serious separate um issues. And it made the whole thing sort of quite stressful. And you know, it's horrible. You should it, when when trolls attack like that. They'll be listening to this going, yes, they won't care that it was people have gone to hospital and you know it was stressful and we were up at the night trying to sort it out and stuff. I'll be like, so that's we've won, you know, sort of one nil. Um, so that's what's happened over the last 24 hours. I don't know where I'm going with this. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> um so yes, um can you so yeah, anyway, it's been tough. Um, the last 24 hours have been tough. And the good news was, I mean, what's come out of all of it was hopefully from one really bad, horrible situation where people are trying to stop us from selling our home and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, a load of you guys have presented us, the people who told us about, we had lots of messages and comments about the unusual activity on um, on eBay. And we, a lot of you know eBay and have offered advice to us. And a lot of the um, trending pattern of advice was to do what we're going to be doing next. And actually hearing about it and now where we are, it feels like maybe we should have done this from the start because it's such a good idea. So what did you guys suggest? <laughs> um, you guys suggested that we um, raffle Morgan. Which seems like a crazy idea because, like, Morgan's a, you know, we spent a lot of money on Morgan and he's a fully big off grid uh, home um, and he's wonderful and beautiful and we spent a long time doing it. But it's a legitimate thing to do. You might have seen um, vehicles being sort of raffled and it's completely legit. Uh, I've looked into it, I've researched it over the last sort of, um, sort of 12 hours. Um, and before as well, I had a look into it as well because it was on our wavelength and it seemed like a legit thing to do. Um, the platform itself uh, is completely legal. It's Google and Facebook approved um, and it was formed in the UK and it, it's along all legal UK laws and everything like that. And people use it all the time and it looks really good and what have you. So anyway, long story short, we decided to take a punt and for how nice would it be for one of you guys to win Morgan for as little as five pounds a ticket? So I'm obviously breathing very deeply there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's very, it's a bit of a big punt and a bit of a risk and stuff, but we're sort of, it definitely feels like the right avenue to go down, um, especially with what happened over the last 24 hours. And also to know that the, got so many comments through from people saying i wish that i could win morgan but i don't have the kind of money to buy him or uh you know similar things to that we've got them quite a bit over the last sort of week if you look through comments so you know now morgan's this is the big news is that morgan is being raffled now from now onwards he's gone live today so you can now purchase a ticket or many tickets to uh, buy Morgan yourself, or not buy Morgan, but enter for a chance to win Morgan um, yourself. So five pound a ticket, buy as many tickets as you like. It's obviously not like the lottery, the the um, the sort of what they called when you get the probability. What's the odds? The odds. The odds, the odds are really good, um, are much much better than the lottery. Um, if you go and look on the thing, so it's a really viable way to do it. Before I move any further. I'm just going to put up, if you're watching this on the TV, I'm just going to put up a QR code so you can go and look at that uh, competition. I think it's going to block our faces. Maybe not Janine's. Let's just try this. Hey! <laughs> Hi, Janine. Hi. <laughs> we don't know. Neil, Neil's screaming at the TV saying, like, you can you can make it smaller. Anyway, that's a QR code to our um, 
to our uh, raffle for where you can win Morgan yourself. So if you pause the TV, if you're watching it now, you can um, win. Where are you? <laughs> you can win Morgan by scanning that QR code, but you could go and enter and buy tickets. So I'll get rid of that now. Uh, <clears throat> see, this is really, have I kind of messed it up? Yeah, I think so. How do you hide that? Hide. You just that, hide. Yeah. And then, but for everybody else, um, if you're watching this, especially not, um, uh, if you're not watching this live or you're watching it back, in the description of this video, you'll be able to see a link to enter the raffle. So if you're looking on your phone or whatever, and um, it should be in the pinned comment as well. But I've got a feeling that the live chat is um, uh, goes after you go live with it. So um, I'll make sure it's in the pinned comment after it. It's in the pinned comment now if you're watching it live, and it's in the description of this video. So the raffle, who's the raffle for? The raffle is for everybody to enter if you want to enter it. If you see yourself um, sort of wanting to do van life and finding a way into doing van life, um, it's our chosen lifestyle, has been our chosen lifestyle for the last three years. Um, it's the way forward, especially with the cost of living crisis. The only thing is vans are really expensive. So this could be a really, really good way to, to get into van life. Um, if you, so if you want to do that, if you see yourself living part-time, we've got a van, this van here is for part-time living, full-time living, winter, summer. Um, we've got a diesel heater that keeps it very cozy. It's just not on now because I'm a bit concerned about the noise it will make, um, or whatever, but it gets very, very toasty in here, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice in the winter, really nice and cozy. And that's coming from someone who really yeah. struggles with the cold as well. Yeah. Um, so uh, so yeah, it's, and in the summer as well, it's well insulated, so it keeps cool. Um, what other features have we got? We've got a full mm -hmm. shower in here with a hot water boiler. Uh, a massive fridge. The fridge is another big, big yeah. deal for us. You know, like we're, we're big foodies and we sort of made sure the kitchen area is massive in here. Hold on a sec. If you can go through and just put in here. Uh, you can see the kitchen. That's the kitchen. And that's the back. And they're just, it's just, you know, awesome it's like we sort of likened it to well i'm not going to go through the van tour thing again but you know it's a bit like a beach shack summer cottage it always feels sort of light and airy in here um and yeah it's just really nice and you know there you go there's us on top of the roof there so that's the van it's a removals van as you know um, anyway, I don't want to make this into a big sort of another van tour again. If we've done a van tour video before this. It went live yesterday. Loads of people have seen it. Um, I'll also put it in the description of this video. Um, so, yeah, that's what our big news is. And um, we have... What else have we got to say? Sorry. Yeah, yeah done that. Um, okay, yeah. So And also, so just, just a disclaimer for the, uh, for the raffle as well. The... You have to set a maximum amount of tickets being sold and a minimum amount of tickets being sold. We made sure the minimum amount of tickets that need to be sold is achievable um, for, and whilst we, I mean, we spent a lot of money building this van and getting this van to where it, where it is now. Um, but, and we know that we're not going to get all that money back, but so we have, but we have to set a minimum amount of tickets. The minimum amount of tickets to be sold is achievable. It will give us a chunk of the money back that we spent, but not all of it. Um, we know that we realize that, but hopefully it will make it a more of a successful sort of raffle. There is a small chance that if the we don't sell enough tickets, which we've already sold quite a lot already, so I should imagine it. we're sort of hoping it'll be successful. And one of you guys will win Morgan, would mean the bloody world to us. It's all about Morgan going to a good home. Um, but there is a small chance that if we don't sell enough tickets that it then turns into a cash prize and then you win a, money basically so morgan turns into money rather than but we actually where we are in our lives right now you'll see on sunday we've, we've got a video going out on sunday my god it's been a sort of busy week for those happy days on youtube i do apologize for that um but you'll see on sunday that we have um we, we you know we're moving forwards um and it's really exciting in fact we've got such exciting stuff planned but we're just at this juncture now and yeah, we don't want we don't want the trolls to win. We're hoping this is just a really positive silver lining to a troll attack. Um, and I mean, like trolls, like well done, you did a, did a, well done, guys, well done. You did a really, really good job. You stressed us out for a, for for a day for twenty four hours, but we're through it on the other side now. Anyway, um, people are saying you're pregnant, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so random. She's got I've put a, on a little bit of weight. Yeah, they're not talking about your weight. They honestly, that was that was that's what that's a that there is a question from sort of one of the comments that's there. And people just think that when oh, we said we've got news, oh, news straight, okay, okay. straight away. <laughs> tell people if you're pregnant. Goes after all those Easter eggs. People want to know if you're pregnant, do you mean? Um, this is quite good, isn't it? Is Liam pregnant? Is Liam pregnant? Oh, <laughs> honestly, sometimes I feel it. Um, got to be in it to win it. Uh, you got to be in it to win it. You do. If you want to enter this, like this <laughs> raffle, you like do it. We don't know how quickly the tickets will sell and what have you. So just be in it to win it. Um, someone's just bought. Who's this? We got here. Delia has just bought two tickets. Thank you so much. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed for you, Delia. We hope you win. <laughs> Honestly, we do. Someone who follows this channel and seen everything that we've been through and the journeys and stuff like that, yeah. that would mean the world to us because um, for transparency's sake, and you know everything we put into this, the adventures we've already been on, we've already been around. Uh, mainland Britain or most of mainland Britain in Morgan and we had a cracking time um someone said I never win never win anything but I'll give it a punt um at least the money no the money will help you in some way oh, yeah for anyone who uh, wants to support the channel it's obviously a really like we're really really grateful for it um obviously since every single time that we get hit with a challenge on um on YouTube, say YouTube, but it's life. Um, <clears throat> you might have noticed that we never sort of give up. We just keep going forwards and forwards and forwards and forwards. It's just like rivers flowing, never they never stop. And that's how we try and live our lives. We try and make heartfelt decisions. It involves taking risks and all the rest of it. But ultimately, we have, we have, we've had such a good time. It's been a roller coaster. This last 24 hours has been hell. <laughs> but now we're sat talking to you in the back of Morgan and we've just launched a raffle because of the, the hell that we've been through. Mm. So on the other side of it, if you sort of like, you know, we just sort of just quiet ourselves and think, what's the bigger picture here? Try and look at the, the bigger grand design of things. And um, because of the things that have happened, I tried to explain it on the, sorry for talking loads, I do apologise, but the, like, we, we sort of hit the t these junctions in our lives where like some people would might just stop and go, oh, that's it, I've give up or whatever. But like, I just see it as something like just sort of being a given a bit of a nudge to go the opposite direction, or not the opposite direction, just a slight change in your life or go a different way. And because of that, we did the pilgrimage, uh, the Cam Camino Santiago, and we went to India and uh, we went quad biking around Corfu, around the whole coast of Corfu on a quad bike and, and like done so many random things because of the things that have stopped us in our paths. And we if we hit a lot of lots and lots of resistance, then we take note and then we go, oh yeah, well, what, what is this? So we do think, or maybe I think a little bit more spiritually about it, but like, or a bit holistically about it, but, but we try and make heartfelt decisions, whatever we do. And um, we come across some troubled people sometimes and troubled situations, but we try and make our way through, as peacefully as possible. I hope you get enough for it and Morgan finds a lovely new owner. I'm just sort of going one after the next. So many comments. Mm. Uh, uh, thank you very much to you, Louise. Really appreciate that. And David Jackson said, I've just bought a ticket. You never know. Um, you never know, mate. And I really hope you win. Uh, it's a UK only sale. Yep. Someone, Sheila just said, is it a UK only sale? Sorry. Yeah, it's a UK only sale. I guess unless you come over to uh, pick him pick him up in the UK, but he will be, he needs to be picked up from the UK in the Midlands. Um, that's where his uh, um, will be good. Fugitive six five one seven would be terrible not to buy a ticket. Mm. Yes, it would. Um, what else we got? What other questions we got? Um, Neil, thanks for looking after the comments, mate. They look really good. Um, I surprised myself buying a ticket. Rona, Rona, crisp. Thank you so much. Really hope you win, Rona. Um, it would be amazing. S head off into the sunset and have a good time. Life is for living. The world is mental out there at the moment. The cost of living crisis and small businesses being closed down. And there feels to be sort of like, it seems to have been a long winter, even though I know that we've been away for a bit of it. But um, so I, and the van life situation, like, depends how you look at van life. If you see van life as just beauty spots every night, yeah, if you really look hard enough, you can still find beauty spots that you can camp at every night. Beaches, hills, forests, all the rest of it. Um, but they're a little bit more, there's a little bit less of them now. 
uh, but there's still loads of uh, camps everywhere, all over the shop. Uh, Park for Night has got loads on, but there's more than way more than that. You just got to get creative. Um, you could park it on cheap land. Doesn't need planning permission. Yeah, actually had went, did go for our mind to, mm. to keep Morgan and put to put on some land. Um, we'd have to buy the land um, first, which which was a bit of a problem. But do you know what? Like, it's something that we would look at in the future for sure because I think it's viable. Totally, uh, maybe in somewhere warmer like Spain or I think like do people. Go, I know people go off to Portugal to go and sort of get land and stuff. But has people actually bought land over there yet? Is it the indie indie projects? They do, don't they? They live over there. Is it is it Portugal? Uh, what's your proudest achievement since starting the channel? I don't know. <laughs> it's um, a real big question. I shouldn't have picked that one. Today. I know. Good question, P. Dicko. Good question. Um, the probably India, maybe. Yeah, it's funny that, that considering really... we're sat in the back of a camper van. <laughs> I do. Feel, I do feel very proud about the India series. Um, it was so much fun, and yeah. It was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. I don't know if we got it across so much. If anyone from India is watching, which they probably aren't because it's very, very late at night, but um, it, the last few weeks or a couple of months or month or whatever of, of the rickshaw journey north was really difficult, really, really difficult. Mm. It was so difficult. <laughs> it was our, our health was declining from being on a rickshaw for so long. The days were getting longer on the rickshaw. The weather was getting worse. The conditions of the roads were getting worse as we were going through certain places. We saw things that we never, I mean, that were so shocking that we didn't couldn't get the camera out in time, but it was so good. And you look back on it and we knew that we'd look back on it and go, my God, that was a, you know, not knowing where it was going to end was such an adventure mm -hmm. and um, had the best time there. But I would say as well, like the things that you learn doing, um, the things that you learn doing van life, Man, it's been the biggest learning curve. And doing van life and having to show it on YouTube as well, not having to, we've cho we choose to show it on YouTube, but like the things that you come across and the challenges you come across doing that. Um, yeah, so so I think everything, we try and challenge ourselves constantly. You'll never see us bored. You never see us bored. We've <laughs> always got something going on. And we're just a bit, I think we're both quite hyperactive people. I can't get to the bottom of the things. Uh, I haven't got Facebook, how can I buy a ticket? You don't, Susan, you don't need Facebook to buy a ticket. Um, it's just a straight up, you can just, you just need an email. Like with everything now, it used to be that you needed Facebook to log into everything. Now Facebook sort of dwindled a bit. They've gone back to resorting to, you can just go in with your email, sometimes your phone number. I think just your email, you should be okay. Uh, what else we got here? And there's the link at the top of this to. Yeah. So um, Neil, Urban Van Life. He's doing such a good job. I really, really appreciate it. He's going through and he's putting the links in to buy a raffle ticket everywhere, all the way through comments and on the pin comment, everything. So if you want to go and check it out, just go and just go and check it out. You can buy any number of tickets. Obviously, the more tickets you buy, the better the odds. And it's amazing when you start clocking up the odds and, out and seeing the odds getting better and better when the more tickets you buy. But buy one, don't buy any. It's absolutely fine as well. You don't have to buy any tickets if you don't want to. We really appreciate the support. You any way of, that we get through life uh, from you guys. And I really mean that. Uh, where is it? Can't find the code. I'm going to put the code up again quickly. Um, uh, hold on a sec. Am I just clicking on everything about answering it? Yeah. Morgan Camper Van Nation. Morgan's a real nice van. Lovely inside. Someone's going to be really happy when they win the raffle. Got it in one. Um, spend a long time thinking about the layout of Morgan and decorating Morgan and what we want in Morgan. And actually, some of it's been ongoing, and it's only really just stopped. I mean, we said the other day, um, you know, Morgan has like a, a recon, recon engine with a long warranty on it and new MOT and stuff, and the back is really cozy. And the weather's been atrocious, and you know how good a van is when the weather's really bad. And the weather's been shocking, as you all know. I'm not going to go on about it, just like we won't go on about COVID or something like that. But um, but the weather's been so shocking. But we've had it's made it made it a little bit more difficult because the um, it, we've had such a cozy sort of nice time in here together, haven't we? I didn't say that again. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I was reading the message. If you see anything, just wang it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but just saying, we've had a nice cozy time in here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very cozy, Van. What comes after Morgan, Mark? Sunday. Watch Sunday, mate. Um, I it's just we're on Thursday now, uh, so Friday, Saturday, yeah. So just two or three days, and we'll be we'll be on it. Um, 
I like jelly. You've just bought free tickets. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Really hope you win, Morgan. For a fiver, mind you, that's obviously cost more because you bought more tickets, but you've got three more, three percent, three times more chance of winning. For a fiver, you can't go wrong. Um, you could get your own very own off grid hand off grid home. Uh, Uh, are we going back to india i keep seeing india 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 uh, uh, come it comes up all the time um we feel very indian now my dad janine my dad said that janine looks very indian um all of a sudden she started adopting sort of like some indian sort of mannerisms and um say, we, say when we say indian we're generalizing a lot but there's some cultural sort of lovely qualities about the place and uh yeah janine's adopted them and what have you but india's got like a second home feel but if you've never been like it's medicinal as well and um if you ever hit a point in your life where you want to get some answers and you want to do a bit of searching i know the whole go find yourself in india thing was the hippie thing from back in the day but there's some reasoning behind that because india is such a warm hospitable country it's massive as well mm. like and every state and town is different to the last state and town you just it's just full of a, it's just a place to go to adventure and as well i know i let's get a quick pellegrino swig um, I know that uh, a lot of you have been to India since watching our We've Inspired You or uh, or whatever, you know, um, and you've had a really, really good time. Thank you for letting us know about all the good times that you've had in India. We love reading it. Um, been a couple of people who've had it a bit stressful. It, it can be a bit stressful, but ultimately it's a good one. Where's the raffle? Can't find and want to buy tickets. Pinned comment whilst you're watching this video, um, you can um, enter the raffle there on the pinned comment. I hope it's there anyway. That's if not, cute. Neil, uh, Urban Van Life is our moderator. He's got a big spanner next to his name and he support, he's not a spanner. He's got a big afro at the moment, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, but he's um, he's going through and dropping the links in there. Really appreciate that, Neil. Thank you for doing that. that. But oh yeah, here's a QR code for anyone watching on the TV that's really thinking that they want to enter and win Morgan. There you go, Janine. <laughs> this is a screen of Janine and QR take code. That off. How do you take that yeah. off? Scan the QR code. Oh yeah, they won't be able to with that comment, will they? Yeah, so maybe. Oh. How do yeah, you take that yeah. Off? It's, oh, it's, it's a, a, a comment, comment, isn't it? Yeah, so we're, we have to find the comment. God, we have right, made a right mess of this. That one. Oh, that one. oh wow. Hide. Okay, cool. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> you can't scan the QR code because there's a banner in the way. There we, there we go. There's a QR code. Scan. Tell them to scan, Janine, because they're going to see you. <laughs> scan the QR code if you're interested, and it will take you to the raffle. Take you to the raffle. And buy one or buy a number of tickets. It's your choice. Let's go. Oh, how do you get rid of that now? Let me do it. Brand. Hold on. I've got it. Yeah. Hide. I've got it. Cool. Right. Click on that. Yeah, look like what someone's saying here. Uh, okay, hi Liam and Janine. Tickets are selling like hotcakes. Does the Aww. rear seat turn into a third bed for guests? I think you might be talking about this. Um, if you're talking about, so you've got this area here, right? This is like a new setup for us here. So what we did, we had a log burner before, but we got rid of the log burner so we could extend the sofa on the left. You can see that what we're sitting on now. On the right hand side, you've got like almost like a big armchair sort of wideness to it all. And the back, you've got a seat for if you want people sat around the table. There is a dining uh, aspect to it as well. See, that's the dining room setup, which is what we've got set up now as well. But, you know, you could also have it set up as a, um, I think it's like a double bed, isn't it? Is it like yeah, a double bed? Yeah, it's really big actually. Um, so you put up that third pillow, the one that's facing sort of downwards like that. Um, you, you can put it up and it makes like makes like a double bed or like maybe a bit smaller than a double bed. But it's really comfortable. I've fallen asleep on it before. I've fallen asleep on it quite a bit because Janine goes to bed earlier than me. And um, if it, like I'm watching something or whatever, I don't, we don't we usually read before bed. We're a bit sort of like that um, because it's a bit better for our mental health rather than, uh, rather than anything else. But yeah. Um, the when would if we're Janine wants separate space and she's up on the bed, which is a king size bed, by the way. And that's one of the big reasons for us moving into a Luton removal van is because we've got a fixed king size bed above the above the cab. We've got a picture of it. 
Have we got a picture of it? Oh, oh yeah, there you go. The inside of the van. There. There you go. You can see the the behind the shower up the top there. That's a fixed king size bed. So um and also there you can see the there's a there's a uh, skylight that goes onto the roof. And uh the guys who do the skylight is a big, it's called an XL Max XL. It's the same guys that do the Max the Max Air fan. So we've got a fan in here as well, so the for the ventilation that brings the air in and takes the air out for cooking or for if you want to cool the place down, climate control, that sort of thing. And we've also got they also make a hatch, and that hatch gets us onto the roof. It's a stargazing hatch, it's a skylight, it's all of that. Um, they've just updated the um skylight and we've just got it ordered in as well. So whoever wins it will get the new skylight. Um, whether it arrives in time or whatever, it'll there'll be a skylight there for it to be to go in so it just it's just a new sort of window um thing that goes into it so that's really cool um right we need to go back to comments and answer a few more i didn't realize there'd be so many well sure there were of course there'll be lots of comments go to new comments i mean how do you scroll down to click like on to... It. click on that oh yeah we're so new to this this thing i'm so sorry uh Uh, oh, I put it out to my angels. I've got 20 chances. Thank you so much. Aww. That's so kind of you. <laughs> really, one really hope you win, um, Tiffany. You you're amazing. Um oh, here you go. It's a good question. This is one we get quite a lot. Uh we donated Pete to a dog home, right? For anyone who's not seen our India series. We did not donate someone called Pete <laughs> to a dog home. Pete, <laughs> Pete is our Pete was our colourful rickshaw that we bought in India, and he's named after my granddad. And I bought Pete with my granddad's inheritance money. Um, and right when we finished the nine thousand kilometre journey, we donated him to, uh, to be a dog ambulance in uh, to positive sanctuary in Amritsar in, in Punjab in India. Uh, where he's continuing to do lots of good work, which we're so happy about. Um, so, because we would love a dog, we would love a dog, we would love a rescue dog. We would go one day. We are going to rescue a rescue dog. It's going to be wonderful mm. because we are such dog lovers. We don't have children here. the The next thing that we do that's childlike esque, it will be to get a dog. However, if you've also watched our videos, you'll know that our lives are quite turbulent and not the most stable and um so the so being dog lovers the least we could do was donate something that we knew that would um make a difference and for now that was good and we spend a lot of time with people's dogs with any chance that we get and it gives us a, a fulfillment that we, we we sort of avoid that we we know that we need uh but we sort of do love dogs very mm. very very much and uh, one day janine talks about it every single day <laughs> Uh, oh, Neil's got some. Neil, uh, Neil's got some dogs as well. He's got some very, very cute dogs. Oh, they're so cute. Um, yeah. So there's a, there's something about uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. someone's talking about the 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 clean air charges with the with the van. That's a really good question. Going to be com Julian. Thank you for that. Really, really good question. Going to be completely transparent with you about um, about that. The ever since we got Morgan, we had no idea. That when we bought him, that he was going to be what the deal was with the ULES thing. As you know, you've got ULES in London, and we've taken Morgan to London, and it cost us is it nine pound eighty or ten quid or eleven quid or whatever it was, um, as it does with everybody pretty much. So in London, Morgan cost us nine pounds a day in that ULES area in the centre, which is growing rapidly. Um, in the other cities, and we've taken Morgan to the majority of cities in the UK, um, he's been, we've not had any charges and there's a little online checker that you do and there's no charges. So I don't understand like, because he's 2015 plate. So I don't know if that's just like, it's just really like, because maybe it's a late 2015 plate and because it's such a late model, it, um, it classifies in the Euro six thing. I don't know, but that's just what, our experience of what's happened. So we've been to Bath, we've been to Bristol, we've been to Birmingham, we've been to uh, all, lots of places, and it's all been groovy. So it was such a nice bonus mm. um, to have to have that like massive, massive bonus. In fact, I think 
we knew it before we got him. And I think it was one of those bonuses that we knew before we got him. I can't remember. It was all a bit of a blur and it happened very, very quickly. But very, very, very good question. Um, uh, do we update the, the V5, the new engine? No, we've the V5, we've got the V5 here. We've just got a new engine. It's got with a warranty and stuff. All of that will be done. Uh, who's this? Josh Grib. Would love to have Morgan to live in as a uni student. Tickets bought. Living in a van nice. as a student would be <laughs> coming coming from two people who spent a fortune on university and had the best time ever, mm -hmm. partying really hard, too hard, mm -hmm. but we came out with degrees still, mm -hmm. um, like and the best time ever. Like to think about living in a van that would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. It would have taken away so much of the sting of it. And you know, we spend a lot of time like um, obviously wild camping. We very rarely go to campsites. This this van is very, very, one of the big things that we wanted with this van was we wanted to make it super off-grid. So we didn't need to worry about um, going to campsites and stuff like that. Fair enough, if you go for weeks and weeks and winters where it's gray and gray and gray, you're relying solely on the DC to DC charger because there's no solar, but the roof is covered in solar. We've got 700 watts of solar up there. Um, where was I going with this? Uh, wild camping. Yeah, so we wild camp a lot. <laughs> All year round, we're wild camping, wild camping, free camping, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we see a lot of people, like teachers especially, living in vans and then going off, like really near the school and then going off to teach and then coming back. Mm. Awesome. Good. Find a way through this horrendous system that's been put in front of us and live as free as life as possible. That's what van life is, has been about for us. We've been so privileged and fortunate to choose van life and not be forced into van life. And um, for that reason, like, so flipping grateful, mm -hmm. haven't we? Like, yeah. this was a choice for us. And it's been difficult. Everything's difficult. We hit challenges. You know, you have to, when you start off and you learn about where to get water from, it's not a problem anymore. Um, and what to do when things go wrong, diesel heater issues at Christmas, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Gas running out. It's good that the gas thing uh, is, is no longer a problem. Calor gas is no longer a problem. We've, we've had to stock up recently. And it's all been good. Uh, bad, bad boy, great. Are you going to move? Um, we are moving out of Morgan. Morgan's our home. Um, so uh, that's that's that. Um, is the insurance and tax expensive? Insurance has gone through the roof uh, recently for everybody. Um, if you sit, look, like check everyone else who's got their uh, van insurance, it, a lot of it depends on what you go for. We had a log burner in this van before and I think the first people we got insured with was Adrian Flux, was it? And I think it was Adrian Flux anyway. And they said, um, have you got a log burner? And we said, we've got a log burner. What? And I said, why is that more expensive with a log burner? And they said, yeah, in Europe it is. So uh, Adrian Flux offers more time in Europe. So you get, I think you get three months for the Schengen thing in, in Europe with Adrian Flux. Um, people we're currently, they give us a very short amount of time in Europe. Um, it depends. Uh, I think right now we're paying, I think it's, 750 pounds 800 pounds for a full year for everything and that's um you know that covers all all of the stuff as well um yeah but there's no log burner in here anymore. no no we got the log burner out it's gone we had the log burner installed because the previous van we had problems at um christmas in winter time with diesel heaters there was a bad batch of diesel heaters that went out that year and we got one of them and it broke mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it, it went bugger like tits up at in the winter time so we thought if we get a new van we'll get an alternative heat source just in case uh but then we just decided that we we just realized that we didn't end up using um uh it so we didn't need it okay. um so we got rid of it and they're quite heavy as well and we don't really want them uh we'd love to win morgan you should catriona you should definitely mm -hmm. enter i really hope you win um we got this DJ Anil, as a British Indian, I loved watching your Indian series and how respectful you are to the Indian and Hindu culture. It truly means a lot. You're a lovely couple. Thank you so much. Oh, thank it, you. Thank you for welcoming. Well, thank for the hospitality and welcoming <laughs> us. Like honestly, we were in awe. You made it so easy for us. Really. Um, bought a ticket, but I hope that you're not leaving van life. <laughs> Find out soon. Um, when I win Morgan, I will rename, rename him more vegan. <laughs> nice choice. Yeah. 
So one, oh, Carl, Carl Ma, Mabers called it, it's a Euro 6 engine. There you go. So it's a, it is a Euro 6 engine. I didn't know what it was. I thought only 2016 models were, but clearly it's not. Um, so it's fine. So it's a Brucey bonus with everything moving forwards. And it hasn't got that add blue thing as well. So, um, you know, you haven't got all that to deal with, which apparently isn't too great. Uh, Eddie Harper got my tickets. Happy days. Um, so um, thank you, Eddie, for getting the tickets. There's so many of them um, that it's just amazing. So thank you so much. Um, I can't. I'm trying to answer all the questions in case we've left anything out. When you start your new adventures, will you still be doing YouTube? 100%. This is what we're doing, Karen. Um, and we we actually love it. As tough as it is sometimes, we actually love it. It is a full-time job for us, believe it or not. Um, we spend a long time with it. Uh, the editing alone is, is takes up all of Janine's time and um, filming, obviously, as well, both of us and um, sort of trying to organize where we're going next. Uh, so, uh, so, oh, there's so many. Thank you so much for all your comments. I, we are going to end yeah, it really, really soon. I, it doesn't say anywhere on the screen how long we've been, but we've probably been crazy amount of time. Um, country van life. Are you st nice to meet, see you, Aww. mate? Stephen's up there in the Isle of Arran, I think, still are you, mate? Um, and he's up in the the Scot Scottish Islands, and he's having a great time. Uh, go and follow his channel if you if you can urban van life as well uh urban van life you are great thank you so much neil and emma um you are wonderful people really really appreciate it yeah thank you uh amanda tester i want to just quickly say a big thank you to amanda tester um uh, she's a member of the channel and thank you firstly for that that's really really kind of you to support us in that way and secondly do you want to, do you remember Amanda Tester? Um, the mugs. Oh yes. Oh, of those mugs. That. Thank you so much for those mugs. They're absolutely gorgeous. We when we were sorry. It was, go, I, no, I go for it. Go. <laughs> I'm used to this. Don't have a coffee before you do a live. <laughs> uh, when we um, when we when we were going through, the, we'll sort of end on this, I think. But when we were going through um, the, the, we made the decision that we were going to be not doing van life and morgan um anymore we're going to give giving up morgan and sending him off to a new home hopefully one of you guys will be getting um it felt like a big decision for us because of everything that's happened with with morgan and how much money we've pumped into him and how much time and effort and you know and every all the adventures and stuff we've been on and what have you and i don't know if you believe in signs um but but i do um i sort of i, I try not to hold too much importance on signs um and we got three signs in a row at the same time. And it was amazing at the time that we just made a decision. We was doing a lot of toing and throwing with whether we should be doing this or not. Um, uh, but we knew it was the right thing to do. But what, what helped that was when we decided that we were going to giving up Morgan, our camper van. Um, the first thing that happened was when we made that decision, someone knocked on our door whilst we were wild camping on a beach at nine o'clock in the evening, I think it was, mm. knocked on the door and we were like, this is 100%. It was dark outside before the clocks went back or went forwards. 100%, this is someone telling us to move on. At this time of night, you know when you're getting, Janine's in the gym jams, she's got a hot water bottle, yeah. all that sort of stuff, and uh, open up the door tentatively and there's two, a really lovely couple there and uh, I don't have the names to hand, which I'm really sorry about. Um, really lovely couple holding a box full of booze for us and a bottle of bubbly and that sign of having we've never had anybody come and knock on the door and give us a bottle of bubbly and they said this is for your indian trip um thank you so much and we were like this is this was something that wasn't van life and they watched our youtube that our indian ventures on youtube and what have you and they gave us a bottle of bubbly so that was the first sign and thank you if you're watching thank you so much for mm. that very very kind of you and it was delicious was um the second thing that happened was that we a van pulled up to us at the very same place the next day, the next morning. And lo and behold, it was Ken and Carol from Life is Too Short um, in a new camber van. And if they're watching this as well, I hope you're doing really, really well. Mm. Another great channel to follow. Uh, really, really kind, lovely people. And you cannot wipe the smiles off their faces. They could not smile wide enough with their new venture into their new camper van. And so it's all sort of like was like symbolic of new beginnings. And it was so nice to see them and go and see their new van and stuff. And the third sign was Amanda Tester. She, I wasn't there at the time. I'd gone to Morrison's to go and get something. 
but Janine, you were here, weren't you? Yeah. And you got a knock at the door and knock at the door, and she handed over. A... You didn't stay very long, but we had a nice conversation, and um, and you gave us a couple of really nice mugs, and uh, they were just gorgeous, weren't they? And then what was symbolic about the mugs um, was that they've got blackbirds on, and blackbirds are like. Uh, like re really something that's like our if we could choose one animal that's been symbolic of our van life journey it's been the blackbirds because when we went through our hardest time doing van life youtube and we won't go into that um mm -hmm. it, we were up at like midnight and um we were just at the lowest point the lowest point we could go be at mentally and uh you the loudest piercing blackbird sound came mm. through the windows into us when we sat there and we heard this beautiful singing right in the mid midnight like the song and it just made us feel like everything was going to be all right mm. and from that point onwards we were just moving forward positively more strongly and everything and we never looked back so it was so symbolic so thank you to amanda long story short <laughs> really really appreciate it i know i've gone a bit but really 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 appreciate it um so on that note i'll just make sure there's no there's no extra comments you're probably going to be saying stop waffling on liam uh hold on a sec you're all saying about the trolls, and we need to, we need to, we need to beat the trolls, and I really appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Um, someone's put, "I am the eBay troll." <laughs> <laughs> someone's named themselves, "I am the eBay troll." That's so funny. Well, thank you because it's led us to this point. Uh, Sam, how I was watching all these comments come. I mean, it's clear that there are a really nice community on here. Thanks, Anna Jay, for bringing us all together to share from all over the world. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thanks for the comment. And this is a really nice one as well. You are both such joyous vibrations that you will always draw to you positive people. For the bad eggs, and there's only been a small <laughs> amount of them, we have, we have, we meet, like, we don't show them on the channel because we, because usually we're not filming at the time or something like that. And we actually like to have genuine interactions with people without cameras being in front of it there as well but on average i'd say between five and ten people subscribers come up to us a day when we're parked up in different places when we're going around fair enough we've got a big green van janine's wearing a pink <laughs> jacket and i've got a hat so we stand out like a sore thumb but we meet so many nice people and it's very very clear that no matter what happens online and no matter what the news tells you about the world, 99.9% .9 of people on this planet, or from what we've come across anyway, are wonderful, kind people. Do not let anybody tell you any different because it's a it's a marvelous planet we have and it's and it's and it's worth going out there and experiencing and, and exploring with freedom and turning off the news. Um so uh I think um Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm so sorry for going on quite a bit. I think I think we've what was it? Nine? So Neil, I'm so sorry, mate. I know you said I've, I said it would be ten minutes. I owe you one, mate. We'll come and see you soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for entering. Really, really hope you win. Uh, uh, this video will stay um, as a video after this streaming's done. Um, hopefully, if we can work out a way of doing that. Um, if not, we'll make we'll make the link very clear to you. But if you see this video on our feed, then you know that it's done and you can enter and you'll find the link on there. I'll put it on the Vantor video that was on yesterday. That will remain on there as well. The links will be from now on prevalent and we'll update you um, when we have a winner, of course. Sunday, this Sunday, normal scheduling. Sorry for Wednesday scheduling recently and all that sort of stuff. It's been a bit awry because of everything that's going on. Um, Sunday, we're back at nine o'clock in the morning um, and where we finally are starting to move forwards with everything. And we can't wait to share that with you. We've got an awesome summer planned. We just need to obviously sell our home and make sure <laughs> it goes to a good home. Morgan, please go to a good home. And when one of you wins him and, um, and then we've got some amazing things going on and thank you so much for your support. And thank you, Neil and Emma, once again, you re really, um, awesome people. Thank you for, uh, uh, for everyone who likes and comments and stuff. And we shall see you very, 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 very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Oh, my word, Janine. This is your Apple Mac. I can't say that. Let me do it. Instrument.